jump a mile. We had to get it out. We had to get him out of the barn the other day. Mm. Oh no, it is a rat. Sorry. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, I'm not going anywhere near it. <laughs> So we've got the Nissan Micra in. Got the scuff paint up all on the front corner of it. So we're going to tidy this up. Um, had it out for a while. Thought I'd probably set it as is, but to be honest, it merits the effort. The rest of the car's clean, so let's get cracking. So we 400 grit that to get rid of all the scratches. Now what we're going to do is key up all the areas we're going to be blending into. So. I'm going to get my scuff pad, scuff it up here, over that trim piece there, scuff it up here. We're going to probably blend over to here. So take the colour to here and then blend about here somewhere. So I'm going to get my scuff pad. I was going to need to scuff out a larger area and I think I might need because sometimes you end up spraying further out than you think. So it's always best to scuff out a bit further out. So I'll probably scuff to about here and all of this. So we're all keyed up with major attention spent on the areas, the little grooves here, because that's where your paint's going to flake off if you don't get it keyed up properly. So now it's time to mask off all the areas we don't want the paint on. Note that I've folded the tape over here so I don't have a hard edge when I'm spraying. Just fold the tape back on itself, it means you don't have such a sharp edge. So, all masked up now, which is my gimbal work, getting used to it. Um, don't have to go crazy because I'm only using rattle cans so it's not going to blow all over the place. But I now need to uh, panel wipe this all down and then put something over the wheel, stop paint getting on that. Um, I'm looking, as I look over the car, I'm looking for anywhere where I can still see a little bit of shine along here where that is where the paint would lift later on if I don't make sure I key that up so I'm just going back over there and key that up again you don't want to see any shine in the area that you're painting because that means that what it's going to flake off pretty much straight after it'll flake straight off because it's got nothing to grab to at all these areas here are the areas I don't intend on getting any color into I just want to lacquer and blend in these areas so just color sort of here um, and here and then lacquer there but I can obviously go right out to the edge of it, but I don't want to get colour up there on the very edge of the panel because that'll meet the wing and then it'll be obvious.
couple of little areas where we've burnt through to the plastic. Um, and what we're going to do there is just put a little dab of plastic primer on there. Otherwise, again, the paint might not take to it properly. So it's just a tiny little dab there, a tiny little dab there. The rest of it being keyed up, I won't worry about um, plastic primering the rest of it. So next step is colour. I've got my ready mix paint. I did a little bit of paint on this before in a previous video. So I've still got loads of the colour left over. Uh, the Marlowe boys done me this match and I know it's a pretty good match from having used it before. With the metallics you want to go lots of lot, uh, light coats because if you lay it too heavy you'll be much more metallic than the rest of the bodywork and if you look at the Nissan it isn't massively metallic. This, although it is a metallic paint it doesn't shout metallic. Um, so I don't want to let it, although I'm going to put light coats on my last coat will be a bit heavier because I want the particles to stay pretty flat. I don't want them sitting up and reflecting a lot of light um, otherwise it'll be massively obvious that I've done the paintwork there so um, I've still left obviously the original paint here that's just lightly scuffed up so that gives me a good idea of where I should be with it and obviously I've got the advantage of having done it before on this so um, but build up light coats don't go crazy with metallics um, take your time and obviously I want the stuff to stick well to the bumper as well so light coats means it's more likely to adhere better I've left this out in the sun to get nice and warm um, so that it's going to lay better don't try and cover up stuff like this straight away um, you'll lay too much paint on and go too crazy so just a little we'll go with a standard dust coat first just to sort of get a grab coat on there just lightly dusting it on I've got to be careful I go too far into my blend areas with the colour. Uh, I don't want to have to do too much further that direction. So um, yeah, I've got to be careful I stay sort of stay here on this. Might take this tape back a bit further actually, possibly give myself a bit more room. But yeah, that's the first dust coat just to allow a grabby surface for the rest of the paint. So onto the third and final coat. Time for the lacquer. We're going to do a dust coat on that first before we start laying on the heavy coats. Coat two.
Right, final wet coat. I'm going to want both hands for this. So I will show you the end result. But basically all we're going to do is go slower and lay more lacquer on. But obviously being careful not to go so slow at a point that it's going to uh, run. So we've got the fade out thinner here. Where we're going to put a little bit of that where the lacquer's ended at each side. So just... Dust that on. I've got a habit of putting too much of this on. So just dust that on. And now leave everything alone. Do not touch it. So you've got your fade out thinner. You put on the edges of where the lacquer is. You put the lacquer on a heavy coat this time. So that hopefully we can just buff this. And it'll be in good enough condition to not have to do it again. But yeah, for the moment we'll leave it. It's going to get the phone. So I did it again. We've got another Dacia. Um, this is the one I got from Mannheim, first car I bought from Mannheim. Number one, I didn't know, realise when I paid for their delivery that they actually drive the vehicles. I thought it was transported. Don't really like that, I have to be honest. <clears throat> but at least we know the car's reliable because it got in here fine. He said it drove fine. Uh, it had damage in the pictures here. I didn't realise it was bent in a little bit there. Um, but that should pull out and I've got to paint that corner anyway. So that's pretty much as described. It's got a little ding on the door here that I knew about as well. So I've got to bend that back out and touch it up. But the rest of it is mint. All the tyres are pretty, like, new. It's got a full service history all stamped up. Its next service is in October, so we don't need to put service on it. Um, inside it looks clean, as you'd expect. It's a 2018, this, although it's on a 67. I think it's a 2018. It's only done 40,000 miles. It's the one litre. So we'll get it in. And we'll get cracking but as you guys also tell me not before i've driven it home tonight and make sure for myself that i don't need to plow a load of money into it it's the little one liter which i think is going to be pretty damn slow but perfect first car for someone i think it saves me four and a half all in with delivery i think retail is about five and a half following morning on the micro it's flattened overnight to be fair i don't think i need to do a lot of polishing because it's got very low orange peel Let's get a light on it for you. You're very low on the orange peel side of things. To be fair, I just think I need to give it a quick buff off and we'll be good to go. There we go. Now you spot the blend for me. You spot where the two colours went into each other. We've got a nice shine on it as well, haven't we? So there's the two blend areas. Looking good, isn't it? I think the new paint is slightly darker, but the fact we've blended it in won't make it blindingly obvious. We've got one more blend area, which is down here. I've just got to hit that. And then uh, no more fiddling, we'll call it done. So there we go, another little example of what you can do with a little bit of patience and a rattle can, and a can of lacquer, and a can of fade out thinners. Um, always expect slight color variations. You're never gonna get it 100% uh, unless you use the exactly same paint that's come out of the factory on the day it's come out of the factory. Um, plastics always have a slight, you can see here on the factory one here, slight color variation on the bumpers, but I think what we've done there is perfectly acceptable, so yeah. This is per all achievable at home, on your driveway, with the rattle cans. Only thing I'd say at home, on the driveway, you want to pick a day where it's not windy, otherwise it's all going to blow away from you as you're trying to do it. So if you can get it in the garage, ideally, that would be the best thing to do. Wet the floor down first as well, especially if you're doing a driveway, to keep the dust from coming up onto the paint. So wet the... Wet the um, wet the, the floor down carefully so that you uh, it'll just basically stop some of the dust coming up and take your time you know put the coats on thinly take your time apart from that final lacquer coat that can go on a bit heavier but especially with the metallics take your time to dust it out as much as you can um, but yeah all, all perfectly achievable at home save yourself a few squids and tidy up some motors if you even if you're out for your own car or for flipping a car it's all beneficial and uh now when you come up to the front of this vehicle where it was all scratched here 
and all the way down here it's just one less blemish for someone to pick on when they come and look at the car so we've got starting the same process with the dacia that i picked up the other day over here i've got this uh tweak in the door here that i'm sorting out so i've just hammer and dollied that crease out a little bit i'm taking it back to bare metal put a bit of filler on there and on this front corner again hammer and dollied out the metal a little bit and then uh, put some filler in where it, we had a problem there and where it's scratched into the bumper we've got a little bit of filler there so i'll be going for exactly the same process as i did on the um on the micro there uh, let me know if you guys comment below if you're interested in seeing another one if you're interested in this black's particularly tough i'm expecting to see some some slight shaping being black because it reflects so excuse the truck outside <laughs> yeah i'm expecting some reflections in the black it won't be absolutely perfect i wouldn't have thought um because that's the way it goes with black it shows up every imperfection but it's certainly gonna be a lot straighter than it was when it had the ding in there so yeah if you're interested in seeing more of the same again let me know um because i'll be doing this tomorrow and uh i did another little bit on the back of the micro there that I haven't flattened polished yet so yeah if you're interested in seeing more of them again i'm doing that with a rattle can because it's two small areas uh this one might be a little bit tougher because we're we're going straight to another panel here black color wise never never as i shouldn't jinx myself here is not normally as big an issue as uh the lighter colors it's just if you don't get the surface perfectly straight you you get reflections in it but um of the body work where you've got slight body work blem blemishes you'll get more reflection with a black but um not a massively expensive car it doesn't have to be perfect we're just trying to avoid it having a big ding in it at the moment uh, i'm not sure if i'll end up leaving that by the time i've sanded the small ding here by the time i sand here, i may end up picking up that one as well but i don't want to go crazy and start going right the way into the door so yeah as always thanks for watching guys if you aren't subscribed please hit that subscribe button below be massively appreciated thanks for all your comments um as you'll see i'll go through and I'll answer all the comments on there if there's any area of the paintwork that you don't think i've covered in enough detail do let me know and i'll aim to do that on the next video but other than that thanks for watching catch you later